So this no confidence vote, Maria, could it happen later this week, maybe on Friday? Hey, Mark, that is indeed the plan. That's what the Socialist Party would uh, want. And we know the come Friday, the big question is, do they have support to get Mariana Rajoy out of office? That's really all that matters, because there's no question that they want to go ahead with this vote. At this point, it's just a question, Mark, is do you get the support you need from smaller regional lawmakers to get Rajoy out of office? And that's basically the big question all the way till Friday. But there's no question that the Socialist Party is on a mission to oust Rajoy. Hoy. And then also I do want to highlight today I've been at the uh, headquarters of the Liberal, the Ciudadanos. This is a party that has rocketed in polls since the Catalan crisis. And they're also giving Rajoy just a very final warning. They're arguing that Rajoy could get a dignified way out if he were to call an early election before the fall. Or if not, they're going to have to back a vote of no confidence. Who's set to benefit then if we get elections soon? In, in Spain, I asked a similar question to Alessandra in, in, in Italy, Maria. But what about in Spain? I mean, who would win? Would we get a majority? What would be the outcome if elections were held soon? Right. That is the core of the question here, because the Socialist Party, like I said before, they want to hold this vote of no confidence, then form a government and then call an election. Now, that's a source of tension because the Liberals of Ciudadanos, that's where I'm standing at. They're looking very good and in, in polls. They've rocketed in polls since the Catalan independence crisis, and they're saying not so fast. If we get a confidence vote, it's got to be to get rid of Rajoy and call an election immediately. And that is because they're set to win. We got a poll yesterday night, which was uh, quite frankly, dramatic for the PP. It's uh, just a free fall for the Spanish Conservatives. They would lose more than half their seats, and the clear winner, no question, would be these guys, the Liberals of Ciudadanos. And that's why there's this tension between the Socialists and the Liberals. They want to get rid of Rajoy. They just don't agree on what the sequence of events should be and the timing. For the Liberals of Ciudadanos, the sooner the better. Maria, some people are mentioning Italy and Spain in the same breath. Is that unfair? Right. It could be unfair. I want to point out we got a, well, a very clear call from BBBA. That's the biggest market maker for the Spanish treasury. It's one of the big Spanish banks. It's a domestic story for them. And they're saying when you trade Spain, in fact, they're arguing long Spain now, this is the time to do it. They argue that you have to look at the fundamentals. At the end of the day, Spain is an economy that's been growing above 3%. For three years, it's on track to grow again around that range this year. And again, we're seeing a pretty big recovery. And also, they point out out, and I believe this is crucial, even if we were to go back to new elections, the political story here in Spain is different to that of Italy. It's more of a domestic issue, but the reality is most parties are in favor of the euro. That's no question. No one in Spain would ever question the euro membership, and they're all very much in favor of the European Union. So even if you get a very fragmented poll or a very fragmented election and we were to have another ballot, it really wouldn't emerge in a uh, Eurosceptic uh, government at all. So that's what they're pointing out. When you look at Spain, you have to look at fundamentals, growth, but also the fact that there is a very strong uh, support for the euro.